Kyiv Telefilm Company. Without You, Episode 13. Son, how is Nadia doing? Better. She had lost a lot of blood, though, if I only came home earlier. You shouldn't blame yourself. I should have foreseen that she will do something to herself. No, you didn't have to. You're not a clairvoyant. You can't get into somebody else's head. Dmitro. Dmitro, how could it happen? I warn you. I told you to keep an eye on Nadia. She isn't okay. If you spent less time at your stupid work... Can you not rub it in? Go ahead, blame me. Mom, can you not lecture me today? I'm not lecturing you, I'm trying to help, to show you how to treat Nadia. Mom, please don't try to help, okay? How can you? Your wife is lying there with the slashed wings. Where is he going? What a stupid woman. Don't you dare insult me. I'm talking about important things. Yes. In grades. You raise a child, and as a result, he ignores you. Instead of supporting your son, you twist a knife in the wound. What kind of a mother are you? I'm a good mother. Okay. Where are you going? To get coffee. Any more questions? Yes. When you will come back home? And where have you been all night? I told you. I'm filling for a divorce. What? Anatoly? Are you serious? I realized nothing good would wait for me inside, so... I entered the front yard and peeked into the window. I saw a teddy bear lying in the pool of blood. I had given the toy to Foxy myself. Mikula was next to it, with a hole in his chest, and all her too. She was covered in blood. Zubov was also there, with two of his butchers, Saitsev and Tartarov. I had known them before that. They were morons. As far as I know, one of them was killed later, and the other died of cancer. There is some higher justice, after all. Take this, Zubo. So, he's happily married. Relatively. His wife is a bitch. A jealous drama queen that will blow up your brain. Yes. Bitches always get the best man. It's a law of nature. If you met this Dmitro earlier... Gren, what are you saying? What did I say? He's a nice guy? Noble? He saved your life? Yes, guys like him don't grow on trees. I agree with mom. We could use a son-in-law like him. Mom, this is nonsense. It's not nonsense, baby. You have to be smart when choosing a husband. A reliable, decent man like your dad. This is ridiculous. Mom. Mom, Gran, girls, what happened to your vocabularies? Is it Alexa? Mom, turn it up a notch. Breaking news. Renowned businessman and parliamentary candidate Zubo is involved in crime. A revealing video was sent to us today and we'll share it with you immediately. When I approached the house, I saw Zubov's jeep parked at the side. I knew the car well, because I worked for his father-in-law, Adamovsky. I realized nothing good would wait for me inside, so... I entered the front yard and peeked into the window. I saw a teddy bear lying in a pool of blood. I had given the toy to Foxy myself. Mikula was next to it, with a hole in his chest, and Olha too. She was covered in blood. Zubov was also there, with two of his butchers, Zaitsev and Tartarov. I had known them before that. They were morons. 
As far as I know, one of them was killed later and the other died of cancer. There is some higher justice after all. Why are we watching this? It's nonsense. Lisa, don't listen to this. Alexa couldn't have. Of course he couldn't have. It's all his competition's leaning mad at him. He will come home tonight and explain everything. I can't wait so long. I need to know now. It's driving me mad. No, wait. I need to see his eyes. I have to be sure he isn't lying to me. Baby, are you coming? Mom, it's the guy who kidnapped me. He said he wanted to avenge his friends. What's going on? That's what I want to find out. Let's go. Girls, don't do anything stupid. Yes, it's all right. I've seen it already. At least it will make Zubov nervous. Yes, this will end his political career. It's not an adequate punishment for killing my family, of course. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. I'll tell you later. I'll come tonight. Love you. Love you too. You're getting good at playing a housewife. Don't overdo it, Clarita. Some housewives end up badly. Are you threatening me? Watch your tongue. I meant your cop's wife. Did you know she slashed her wrists and is now at the hospital? That's why he isn't here yet. What? Nadia. Nadia. Where am I? In the hospital. Nadia, why did you do it? I don't know. It was as if I were possessed. I heard... crying. A crying baby. It was driving me crazy. I couldn't stand it anymore. So was it about the baby? It was about everything. The baby. Your indifference to me. My job. All my life that I loved so much, Dmitro. I have nothing left. They didn't let me go on tour, even though I'm not pregnant anymore. Nadia, my... My parents are outside. No, please, no. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want their pity. Shall I leave? No. Please stay. I'm scared. I'm very scared. I don't want to go to sleep again. I don't want to hear and see this again, okay? I don't want to. Alexa, is it true or not? Tell us. We have the right to know. Are you out of your minds? Of course it isn't true. Nonsense. I never killed anyone. I will sue this TV company. They must be working on my competition. People say all kinds of things on TV. They will pay for this. I'm calling my lawyers right now. Dead. Dad, wait. It's the same guy who had kidnapped me. Look, he locked me up in the basement, and he was talking about revenge then, too. Baby, are you sure it was him? Of course, I saw his face. Do you know him? I've never seen him before. 
Don't you realize what you've done? Zubov's daughter saw me. And then this video. Everybody will realize that I'm alive. My cover is blown because of you. Don't you realize what you're doing? Godfather, you became a murderer. Don't. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not a psycho. Really? If you didn't like what you're doing, you would quit. What do you know about my life? I know enough. So cut the drama. It doesn't work on me. Got it. Zubov will answer for what he's done. You won't stop me. God, I'm sick of this. All I want is that the police consider it your statement and that Zubo went to jail. You aren't stupid. How can you be so naive? Don't you realize that people like Zubov never get convicted? He's too tough and too rich for that. We'll still find justice for him. In your dreams. Listen. Together. We can't take revenge on Zubov. If you stay with this cop, you'll forever be his mistress. He will never leave his crazy wife. She'll slash her wrists at any sign of anything, and Dmitro has always been sensitive. Clarita, come with me. No one else in this world cares about you. We can't ignore this statement. Of course we can. This criminal statement cannot be trusted. We don't have anything on Zubov except for his words. No photos, no video, no hard evidence. On what grounds can we put this respectable man in custody? Besides, you forget the Statue of Limitation. It happened almost 20 years ago. Are you saying Zubov will get away with it? Go back to your own cases. You haven't filled in the paperwork on the ghost. But this is directly connected to the ghost case, because he's alive, and he's the one who had abducted Zubov's daughter. Or do you doubt Olesa Zubova's statement too? All right. I will deal with this myself. And you, deal with the paperwork. Off you go. Yes, sir. So it was a bribe. Yes, it appears he has bribed the security. But the morgue? Are they idiots there? They can't tell a living man from a dead? A homeless guy was cremated instead of him. The ghost paid a trainee to accidentally mix up the bodies. Great. He played us like children. It's the ghost after all. Dead man is what he is. Okay. Double the security at my house. Hire the best man you can find. As for this bastard, put a good price on his head and announce it you know where. He has signed his own death sentence. Get to it. The Zharinovs. You've got mommy. <laughs> My girls. Finally, where have you been? Not far, Mom. I kept an eye on her. Who will keep an eye on you? I will. The Zharinovs.
How strange. Dmitro. Here, everything we had on Adamovsky. Nice. Thank you, Dad. Why is this here? Are you going somewhere? I left from home yesterday, son. Your mom and I are getting a divorce. I'll get the rest of my stuff later. You've been together for so many years, Dad. How come? Everything ends sooner or later. Nothing lasts forever. Just don't get it wrong. I never cheated on your mother, but I wasn't happy with her either. My advice, son, don't waste your time. If there is no love between the spouses, there will never be. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just think about it. Guys, they're here. What's this? Reporters? Mom, stay cool. We'll deal with it. It's okay. Answer a couple questions. Are you going to... Please answer. Please tell us. Mom, stay cool. Give away. What's going on? Just what we need now. Stop this. We are the press. You're preventing us from doing our job. Mom, don't worry. I'll sort them out. Where are you going? Lisa! Lisa! Will you answer a couple questions? My name is Olesia, and I'm Alexa Zubov's daughter. I want to deal with the accusations against my father once and for all. Is it true that your father ordered to kill the family of Detective Mikola Zharinov? My father had nothing to do with that murder. It's all the doings of his political opponents trying to undermine the elections. My advice is, seek the answers from my father's political rivals. I'm sure there are the ones behind this farce. I'd like to add that my father is you in the TV company that had run this fake news. The same goes for all of you. Any libel, any misinformation regarding my father will lead to a lawsuit. Our lawyers will go for the highest figures in compensation of moral damage for any story that doesn't reflect the truth. I hope you've heard me. Goodbye. Katya. Darling, I'm home. Dmitro, don't go looking for me. I'm leaving. It will be better for everyone, including your wife. I don't want to cause her death. Where am I supposed to look for her? Nadia, don't despair. I know why you did all this. Because of the baby. Everything will be fine, darling. You and Mitro, Ayan, you'll have other children. Everything will be fine. You'll see. You just need to get through this postpartum depression. I suffered from it so much, so much. I thought I was losing my mind. I don't have any postpartum depression. I didn't give birth, remember? I had a miscarriage. No need for nitpicking. At this stage of pregnancy, it's not a miscarriage, it's... Listen, listen, I know. I know that audio therapy is the best treatment for postpartum depression. I'll bring you a mixtape with soothing music and nature sounds tomorrow. You will be listening to it in the background and... God, will you ever shut up or not? My baby is dead and you are torturing me with your music. Go and listen to it if you want. What do you want from me? Have I ever asked you an advice? You make everyone sick, don't you see? Why do you have to be such a meddler? 
Better take care of your own family before your husband leaves you. He already has. Hello, Dmitro. Hi, darling. Your mom has just been here. Listen, she yelled at me. She blames me for our baby's death. Nadia, seriously? Mom couldn't say that. Nadia, calm down. I'm not saying that you're lying. Maybe you misunderstood. Yes. Okay. I'll talk to her. I'll tell her to leave you alone. Okay, have some rest. Yes, I'll stop by. When it rains, it pours. Hello. Dad, hi. Listen, here's what happened. Mom and Nadia had a big fight. Could you go to mom and make sure she's all right? I can't go myself. I'm afraid I'll start yelling at her. Yes. I'm all wound up, and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Thanks, Dad. Katya, Katya. What did you get yourself into? In a certain sense. I've been dead for a while. Since your husband killed my family. My mom, my dad, and my little sister Elisa. My name isn't Clara, by the way. It's Katya. Katya Zharinova. What's wrong with you? Attacking people with a knife. You... What are you doing here? You left. You don't sneak up on people like that. I could have stabbed you. Sorry. I didn't know you were so jumpy. No wonder I am. Why did you come back? Why? No reason. I just came. Mom called me to tell about the abduction. I will never leave you alone again. Never. I don't need a bodyguard. Dad has doubled the security. Go back to your... this. My what? I called you yesterday. A girl answered and said you were in the shower. Do I need to go on? Olesia, I was at Aunt Vera's. It was Marina who took the call. Your cousin? Yes, her. If you don't believe me, here, you can call her. It doesn't change anything. You left and abandoned me. I thought I was doing the right thing. I didn't want to put our relationship at risk, our friendship. So don't. Olesia, Olesia, wait! Wait! Wait for what? For you to abandon me again? I will never abandon you again. I love you. I don't believe you. And this is my family. I want you to remember the faces of the people killed by your husband. My husband never killed anyone. He did. What Uncle Grigory said was true. You know that criminal? It was him who attacked and abducted Olesia. Are you his accomplice? I didn't have anything to do with Alessia's abduction. It was his own initiative. I don't believe you. You're just like him, a criminal. Help! Help me! 
Lisa, what happened? Mom, quick, she's here, help me! Who? Mom, what happened? She's in there. Who? Clara. She is alive. She said Alexa killed her family and that the man from the video will take revenge on us. Mom. Wait here. Mom, calm down. Mom. Mom, are you sure about what you saw? Clara is dead. She drove her car into a river. The car might be in the river, but Clara is alive. I saw her like I see you right now. Lisa, are you sure it wasn't a dream? I'm not crazy. She also said her name wasn't Clara, but Katya Zharinova. You think I dreamed it too? Katya Zharinova? Yes. Can she really be alive? I don't understand. Did you know about her other name? Yes, I did, but I had no idea she was going to take revenge on us. This is absurd. Mom, I don't understand. What is going on here? What's going on is that someone is trying to set up your father. But we can't let it happen. We have to support him. Yes, Mom, I agree. We need to talk to the security. It's not normal that anyone can get into our house. Mom, I can stay with you if you want. No, I'm fine. Clara didn't hurt me. She just wanted to talk. Okay, have some rest. Relax, sis. Okay. I can't believe it. Clara is alive. My dad is being accused of a murder. This is absurd. Clara told me that her family was killed, but not that she suspected dead. Maybe she became my friend to get to my father. It's possible, but we can't know for sure. Don't be in a rush to judge her. Wait. Whose side are you on? They accuse my father of God knows what and you? You don't believe these reporters and Clara, do you? My father is innocent. I'm not judging anyone. I just think you should make conclusions and decisions with clear head. If you don't trust my father, then you don't trust me either. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Olesya, what's wrong? Olesya! <laughs> Excuse me, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> to collect the rest of your stuff? Oh, to leave your keys. Put them on shelf. The keys on the shelf. Good boy, now go. I said go. <laughs> Because I don't need you anymore. I don't need anyone anymore. Because no one needs me. Svetlana, what are you doing? You don't drink. Shut up, you. Don't tell me what to do. You aren't my husband anymore. Is it because of your fight with Nadia? No. It's... Because of my fight with my own life. Don't just stand here, go. There is a bag in the bedroom. I put all your things in it. Svetlana, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry it happened this way. No, no, not at all. I'm not sorry even a bit. It's strange. For the first time in my life, I feel free from all of you. I was always tuned to you guys. I wanted to make you happy. And then you all asked me, asked me to stay away from your personal lives. So I thought, where am I in all this? Am I a part of anyone's personal life?
Hello. You should give me some warning. What fun would that be? Do you have news? Yes. You won't like it, though. Zubov has set a price on your head. I knew I was worth a lot. If he started this manhunt, it means that the little shit is scared of me. It's good, because I have started a manhunt on him too. He has doubled the security. Now it's impossible to get to him. For a human, maybe, but not for the ghost. As the saying goes, he who made me will die from my hand. It can be true. She is dead. Or is she? The bitch is screwing with us all. Just you wait, bitch. Just you wait. You won't stay free for long. You will pay me for everything. Mom, do you realize what it means? What I understand is that you shouldn't jump to conclusions. It's photoshopped. The technologies nowadays... No, it isn't photoshopped, Mom. I found other pictures of this family online. Our Olesi is in all of them. He lied to me, Mom. He said she was a daughter of his friends who were killed in a car accident. And in reality, I don't want to even think about it, Mom. Strange things happen. It's a misunderstanding. If it's a misunderstanding, I need to sort it out. I'll go to the police and ask them to reopen the Zharinov's case. We'll find out if my husband had anything to do with their death. There is no need to go to the police or stir up the past at all. You should live in the present. I can't live with it. Don't you see, Mom? I need to know the truth. No, you don't. You don't need to know anything. Mom, I want the truth. I can't live with it. I need to talk to the police. Wait. I did all this. It was me. What do you mean? I told Zubov to find a child to replace your dead daughter. I told him he needed to act fast. I had to save you. Mom, I don't understand. It was my duty to save you. After your daughter's death, you were in a bad place. I was scared for you all the time. You had tried to kill yourself twice by that moment. You try for the third time, too. So I told your husband to find a replacement child for you. And quickly. When Zubov brought in that little girl who looked so much like your daughter, you came back to life. You learned to laugh again. You wanted to live, and I'm grateful to my granddaughter for this. Mom, I don't understand what that family has to do with all this. I never asked your husband how he found a girl who looked like your daughter so quickly. All I know is that it happened the same day that I suggested this idea to him. He couldn't find her at an orphanage. The paperwork would take longer than that. And we needed to do it fast, urgently, before you'd make another attempt to kill yourself. Mom, 
You didn't even ask where the child came from? Okay, I wasn't myself after the death of my daughter, but you. Listen, if your father taught me one thing, it's this, don't ask questions. The less you know, the better you sleep. You mean, my husband killed her parents and took the girl just because she looked like our daughter? And if she were the wrong age, would he kill her too? There is a lot you don't know about our family. Your father was a famous underworld boss. And your husband was his right-hand man. He served your father loyally because he loved you so much. He still does. Zahar would commission him with the hardest and the most unpleasant things, thus showing him his trust and at the same time keeping him under control. So you also think that he killed them? And Clara is right. God. Oh my God. So it means if Olesya is their daughter, it means Clara and her our sisters? Yes, it looks like they are. Lisa, please don't go to the police. It would ruin all our lives. Olesis, in the first place. So you are here to say goodbye? Yes. There is nothing left for me in this city. I've done what I could. Making public Godfather's confession and talking to Zubo's wife. By the way, she seemed to a nice woman. She doesn't know what her husband is doing. Let her sort it out with him on her own. Is this enough revenge for you? There is a line I cannot cross, you see. I can't kill a person. I don't want to be someone whom my father wouldn't understand or accept. I understand. You are doing the right thing. This bastard isn't worth of blood in your hands or going to jail. He has done enough to ruin your life. Thank you for your support, Auntie Lucia. And this guy of yours, are you leaving him too? His wife slashed her wrist yesterday. Oh, God. This is too much even for me. I love Dmitro, but this price is too high for us being together. I wouldn't be able to look at myself in the mirror knowing that someone died because of me. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I was at the church one of these days. You at the church? Yes, I didn't know what to do. There was that very intelligent priest who said a very wise thing to me. He told me to leave all my unsolved problems to God. He will deal with them. I didn't quite understand how, though, but I thought about and decided to actually leave it to him. What else can I do when I don't know how to solve my problems? And the best part is that it took a load of my chest. I used to always stand to myself with no one to help me, but then I just let it go as if someone took a pity on me. It was a weird feeling. I'm not used to it. Not many people ever pitied me, only you. 
I am not a fool. I know you wouldn't move out only because you didn't want to leave a sick woman alone. And I kept nagging at you and getting on your nerves. Never mind it. So, are your problems solved now? I'm not sure yet, but I sleep better now. There was another wise thing he said. Everything that happens, happens for the best. I'm not that sure about this one. Aunt Lucia, you're in a good form today. I barely recognize you. Maybe you are right, though. Trust God with everything. Let him deal with it. Yes, he definitely has a plan for us. Are we expecting someone? No. Can it be Godfather? I don't think so. He has the key. Also, he doesn't need a key to open any lock. You know that. I'm telling you, they're in there. They're insistent. Lucia, open the door. I know you're there. The local cop. Shit. Hide in there. And I'll try to chat him up. What if you can't? I'm better. Come on, go. I'm coming. Don't break the door. People are sleeping. Zaharchenko, what do you want? Let me sleep. Good evening, Lucy. Hi. We've been informed that you're hiding your niece's body in your apartment. Are you crazy? Don't I have anything better to do than hiding bodies? I saw her. I saw Clara alive like I see you now. She was opening the door with her own key. What are you talking about? Yes, she was hiding in the apartment. I saw her. You didn't find her body, did you? What makes you think she was in the car? She just decided to escape, pushed the car down, and went about her own business. That's all. Listen, we'll sort it out. Lucia, do you give your permission to look around your apartment to put an end to this mess? No. Here you have it. Everything is for the best. What if tomorrow she says I'm hiding another escaped criminal? Will you break in again? Listen. I'm not letting you in. Listen. Clara is a missing person. Technically, I don't need your permission. She's in there. Shut up. Excuse me. What are you doing? You have no right. I didn't say you could come in. Lucia, listen to me. Obstructing the investigation will get you in big trouble. You'd better tell me the truth before I start the search. If Clara is hiding here... Nobody's hiding here. I'm here. What did I tell you? I'm not hiding. Aunt Lucia didn't know I was here. She was asleep when I came in. Clara, what are you doing? It's okay, really, Aunt Lucia. Why would I be hiding? I can reclaim my real identity, get my name back. What are we waiting for? Let's go. We have tons of paperwork to do. Goodbye. Aaron, you going to handcuff her? What for? She's Clara. She'll take him off anyway. I hope she rots in jail for ruining my boys' lives. Your boys ruin their own lives. Two idiots. Ella, don't you realize you raised two murderers? Thank God they got caught before they killed someone else. Nonsense. Dan suffers because of his love for this bitch. Clara set him up. He's protecting her, that's all. He took the blame for someone else. Now she'll see how it feels being behind the grates. You're definitely not right in the head. You're sick! <laughs> Shit.
Lucia, I'm busy. I asked you not to call me over trifles. Shut up and listen, Grigori. I don't care how busy you are. Clara was arrested. What? You heard me. I gave you information. You think what to do with it. Got it. Oh, Katya. I can't leave you unattended. Lisa, wait. Listen to me. Are you saying you believe that girl? She lied to you. I never killed anyone. Don't touch me. You're a stranger to me. I don't know who you are. Lisa, this is silly. I have nothing to do with it. My lawyers are already at work. The TV channel will retract their statements. I talked to mom. She told me everything about you, dad, your business. Alexa, I would never have thought you could do that. Who cares what your senile mother is saying? You know she always hated me. Getting rid of me is her cherished dream. I never killed anyone. Maybe not with your own hands, but you gave orders. Alexa. You don't know how horrible it is, suddenly realizing that you don't know the man you love. Lisa, Lisa, you know me better than anyone. I'm the man who loved you all my life, who would give up his life for our daughter. I would never have fallen in love with a killer. Please go, Alexa, I want to be alone. I need to make a decision. What decision? Lisa, we love each other. I'm not so sure that I love you anymore. I don't even know you. Alexa, please, go. Don't make it worse. I feel bad enough already. Okay. If you insist, I will go. But I'm begging you. Please. Calm down. And try to not make rushed decisions, okay? Baby, do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Baby, I promise I didn't do anything I'm being accused of. And I really need your help in convincing mom that it's true. I believe you, daddy. I will always support you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. You can't imagine how important it is for me. I don't know what to do about your mom. The things she says... She has convinced herself of some ridiculous things. I'll go and talk to her right now. I'll try to calm her down. Thank you. Thank you, it would mean a lot. Mom. Mom, I talked to Daddy. Mom? Are you okay? Mom! Mom! Mommy! Help! Somebody help! Mom! Help! Mommy! Anyone! Help! Looks like I can get away from you. I don't know if I should be happy or not, considering the location. Why did you surrender? 
I realized I didn't want to live all my life as a ghost hiding from people. As for my goodbye note, I want you to know that nothing has changed. I wasn't impressed by your note. You can forget about it. You are stubborn. Yeah, a little. Your wife slid her wrists, and you didn't tell me. I would if you didn't run away. But this isn't what we need to talk about right now. Why did you break into Olesia's mother's room? I wanted to tell her the truth. It would have been better if you didn't. Why? Because now you can be charged with incitement to suicide. What do you mean? Have I missed something? After talking to you, Mrs. Zubova, Olesia's mother, killed herself. No, it can't be true. She didn't even believe me. Dmitro, it has to be a mistake. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, Dmitro.